And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a kid's game called Hungry Hugo. And Hugo's this big monkey here. He's super friendly. Give him a banana, you're fine. Otherwise, he's going to break the decorations that you're putting in your yard. And I have worked hard at putting those decorations in my yard. This is a kid's game. Kind of a monkey running around trying to build five decorations before everybody else. Here's how it plays. In this game, each player has a house that's made up of four components that they're going to put together, and they have a yard that can hold five decorations. You'll notice there's a lot of decorations here in the middle, but they're functionally all the same thing. One player gets Hugo sitting in front of their yard, and everyone's going to get a handful of cards from the deck, three cards. On your turn, it's pretty simple. You're going to play a card, and then you're going to draw back up to three. Now, when you play a card, there are four different cards. There's a banana card. That doesn't do anything when you play it on your turn. You just discard it. So nothing happens. Here, you move Hugo. You pick him, and you'll put him in front of someone else's yard. You have to move him. So it's possible he might even move to your own yard, but highly unlikely. If you play this card, you get to build a decoration. Pick a decoration and build it. If part of your house is missing, you have to build the, the piece of your house that's missing first. But after that, you can start building decorations because the first person to get to five of them is the winner of the game. But this is the card that you will often play to wake up Hugo. You might even be forced to play it if he's in front of your house. When this happens, you roll the die to see what happens. If you get this, you're lucky he stays asleep. If you get this, he comes to your house. So if I play this card and it happens, if I'm playing it on you, he'll leave your house and come over to mine. Doesn't do anything, but just moves. And if you do this, he destroys a decoration. If there's no decoration to destroy, then he'll destroy a piece of your house, which then you'll have to rebuild. That's the game. You just keep playing through, but you say, what about those banana cards? Aha. Uh -huh. You can play a banana card when Hugo attacks you. You can give him this banana, and he'll eat that instead of destroying something you have. Well, that's it. First person to build all five decorations is the winner of the game. Components for the game are fine. We have these different, uh, you know, the houses you build together, they're made up of five pieces, and they all look different. We have the brick one here. We have the green wood one here with the shingle roof and the blue one. And then you have all these different things. It doesn't really matter what they are, but you'll find that some kids gravitate. I want to put trees. I want to put the garden gnomes in my thing. And then these spots to put them. The cards are not great quality. They're okay quality. I wish they were a little bit better. But for the most part, the components are good. And there you have it. Hungry Hugo. Simple game. My son loves this game. It's fun for him. There's a take that element into the game, but there's a slight possibility of revenge. Like I'm going to make Hugo wake up on you and I roll the die and oh, he comes all running over to my yard now. And I mean, really, there's nothing more to it than that. Deciding where to send Hugo, deciding whether to keep a banana card, deciding when to wake Hugo or where to move him. But it's really simple. This is a little kid's game that older kids and adults could play with it and have a lot of fun. But it's a game meant for the smaller crowd. It says six plus on here. I would probably put like six to nine or maybe even five to nine. There's a little bit of a, oh, he destroyed your house. And maybe a little kid might be upset over that. But I think barely. The theme is amusing. The artwork's amusing. It's very fun to build the things. It's fun to build the house at the beginning for kids and then add stuff. There's not a lot of depth here, but it works really well. There's just that entertainment back and forth. So like I said, not for everybody, but for kids, I think Hungry Hugo is worth looking into. The younger set, younger elementary, check it out. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved.